Hi. I was on a walk. I had to, ooh, I need to pause it. I guess I end it, which is unfortunate. Um, I'm gonna come back though. I'm gonna come back to my walk. I'm only like two miles in. Um, Jason took his Tesla in to get fixed from the, uh, what do you call it? Hit and run on the back of his bumper. And when they fixed my bumper, my front bumper, they were like, okay, I don't think we're gonna have it back until tomorrow. You know, don't stick around kind of a thing. So Jason and I went and ran errands for like an hour and a half and they, two hours, and they called us and like, it's all done. And so we just kind of assumed that Jason's was gonna be the kind of the same way. So he took work to do while he's there. Like he even went up to the store yesterday and got invoices to pay and got his checkbook and like did all the things to be able to have something to do while he's there. So he could just sit there for two, three hours and do his thing while he waited. And, um, well, he just got there and they're like, yeah, we might have it the rest of the week. It's Monday. And he's like, I'm squeeze me. <laughs> um, what, what? Oh, I can put you down. I'm on my phone. Cause my, my camera is in my car, in my trunk. Hang on. Oh, but you can't, there we go. Oh, so that's way better. Maybe I should film with you guys, guys on my phone when I'm in the car. But anyway, um, so he's like, it's not going to be done today. Um, so I think I have like heat on in here from last night. It was so cold when we came home. Um, anyway, so I have to go get him <laughs> and, uh, he'll drop me back off here at the park. But he's trying to get his tux out of the car cause he thought that the car would be done today and we could take the tux back. So now he's got to like go and ask to get the tux out. Um, I'll pick him up. He'll come back, drop me off at the park. He'll go return his tux, run one more errand while I walk and get another couple miles in. And then we have a whole bunch of other stuff to do today. I just didn't anticipate. Now I gotta like, I just let Abby know, uh, hate to break it to you, but dad might need, need your car. <laughs> oh, luckily, well, no, it's not the right week. Anyway, her surgery is coming up, but it's not this week. That would have been a good week to not have to have her need a car, but it's not that way. So I'm going to go pick him up really quick. Um, let me see what it looks like for you guys if I turn the camera on and get like the B-roll of the street with this view with my camera. Maybe this is how I get it from now on. He wants me to film him getting in the car. Oh, I thought you were. That's what I thought you were going for. You're always filming. Hurry. They don't like us to park here. I know. I know. Okay. We're at Costco. We're Not way. much new. So, no, we're going to go that way. Where are you going? Don't. You're going the wrong way. Go that way. All right. It gets kind of crazy in there. This is the only extra thing that we got, I think, and tortilla shells. Um, we were out of butter. Abby's been baking a lot. Um, bagels, they got rid of the blueberry and raisin bagels. That better not be like a long-term thing. Um, our regular milk. Every, all the fruit is back up to being expensive. So I only got grapes. Bananas are always normal. Cucumbers, alani, lettuce, bread, pretty normal. I'm hungry. So I tried to like not go through Costco hungry. <laughs> I tried to just stick to the list and uh, not deviate and get you know things that i i know i shouldn't get so i think we did a pretty good job we did yeah considering you're hungry we didn't get yeah we could have done worse yes all right i've been on the computer since i got out of the shower i even forgot to eat until like an hour ago and it's like five o'clock um so we i have been working on editing but also we've been trying to like work with Abby. Okay. What is your schedule tomorrow? If we don't get dad's car back 
and we, you know and then she's like but I've got to be here a half hour after you take Ashley to the doctor and how are we gonna do that and then I'm gonna be done a half hour after that at the high school and they're completely opposite they're different cities <laughs> it's like how are we gonna do that between me and her like I couldn't be at Ashley's doctor's appointment without a car and she has no way of getting to the high school and so I was like anyway so then but then Jason needed a ride to work and it's at the same time that she needs to go to the doctor and Abby needs to go to school and I was like who gives up their car and so we did call Jason's dad and he wasn't willing to give up his car and then he called he doesn't it. even go outside the house <laughs> I know it was a little frustrating so we got off the phone with him okay he's not any help what are we gonna do and anyway so I was like okay maybe I'm gonna have to be the one to get up super early take Jason to work super early <laughs> come back home get Ashley Abby can have her anyway we were just like going through every little scenario we could um, and then Jason's dad called back and said why don't I just take Jason to work and then you, he can call me when he's done and I'll go and pick him up and we're like done then Abby can have her car I have my car I can do my thing with her and then we went on our way we're like okay we have a problem but that's fixes tomorrow maybe grandpa will be able to like take take dad to work every day this week meantime um jason realized his headphones are in the service center in the lounge where because <laughs> you can see it on his phone you can see that they're in there so he messaged the guy you are so wiggly stop stop um, so he messaged the guy, you always get like a person that you're working with that's working on your car. So he messaged him and he was like, hey, can you go and look for my headphones? They're right there. They're in the lounge. And he's like, I didn't find them. He's like, no, no, no go right here. And he told him specifically where to go because you can see it on his phone. They're not there. They close in three minutes. Actually, they closed, they closed a minute ago. And five minutes ago, he got an update on his phone. Your car is done. <laughs> I knew it was gonna be done today so now it's five o'clock we have to fight traffic to go there and come home so will you come with us so we can have the carpool lane at least so one of us you two can go yeah but we have to get his car and bring it home can that means I need to have a carpooler you have to you need get me something I know I told dad it would be a milkshake I said go to convince Chelsea that she can get a milkshake if she comes with us because we need two kids to come home. Did you convince Chels? No. <laughs> oh. I bet. You didn't. I, you didn't find your uh, your I, bribery. I can go up there and she'll go. Trust. Did you ask her? I asked her. I didn't tell her I was getting her a milkshake or anything. Well, you got a bribe. Trust me. If I go up there, she'll come down. We'll see. At least I get her a car. I, mine worked. I convinced my girl. How did you do it? I told her I'd get her a milk. She's like, well, you got to name the price. She literally said, you have to name the price. And I was like, a milkshake. She's like, done. So we're not teaching kids to help people <laughs> out of the kindness of their heart and their family bind. No kid wants to go sit in the car for an hour at 5 o'clock on a school night. No kid actually wants to do that for the, the love of supporting their parents. No, I'm sorry. They don't do that. We need to beat them. Not up. A <laughs> beat them to submission. We don't do that. Don't, don't, we don't do that. That's a joke. I know. It's a joke. I know. Oh, <laughs> something's going on upstairs. Anyway, so that's what we get to do now is go get his car. Luckily with Tesla's, you just, you can access your car. You don't have to have the key. You just get in and turn it off. You get in it, you turn off um, service mode on the car from your app and then you drive it home and you're just fine. An insurance went through everything is paid for um, so I guess that's what we get to go do now so super fun but I think if we wait any longer traffic is just gonna get worse so let's go back and get the car and we thought we weren't gonna have traffic half of our way here it was like no one on the road and now it's like totally backed up not bad but adjusted there so we've got a lot of traffic going across the bridge here but let's see maybe we'll get a shot of Rainier over here okay we're here and oh, now we've got it it's back across the street that's what I thought they usually don't they, oh, they park them on the over here no mine have been out on the street so we use the locator on the app to try and find where it is 
Okay, now the trick is to find the one gray Tesla that's his. <laughs> it's across the street. Tesla's right over there. All right, let's look at it. It looks good. No ding. No ding. So it was right here. Maybe I'll try and get some before footage. That is the damage. So it's actually ripped through the metal, dented it's it, scraped it, scratched the whole thing. So it's all done. All right, now the only problem is his headphones. Do you want to go over and see if anyone's over there still? I could go in the showroom. I know it's in that office right there. Do you want to just walk across there? Sure, I'll walk over there. Do you want me to go with you? I don't want to leave my car. No, you have stuff in your car. All right, well, I'll wait here. The showroom is, maybe it's open. The service center is closed. Um, but his headphones are still in there. It might mean that we have to like, he won't be able to make it here by the time he gets off work any night. But um, he might be able, to, I might be able to come over and get it sometime. Um, so you can literally see it on his app. He doesn't have Apple headphones. He has like Beats, I think. Um, so he can see it on the app, but we'll just see if he can find them. All right, I'm Marco Poloing my sister right now while I wait for Jason and he's like walking around. You can't see him. He's like trying to find his headphones. Can, I, can you see him right there? Yeah, there he is. He's trying to walk around and find his headphones. So I don't think he found them. That's such a bummer. What? The phone shows it there. We can't connect. We can't make it play a sound. They walked around the office. We went up to the other thing. They said they're looking in the lost and found. Whatever. But you can see them on your app? It's on the app. But we can't get it to make noise. And obviously but they're not where you left them? No. They're over in the offices. <laughs> Someone took him into the office? Well, yeah, because I was further in the building when I, where I was sitting. Okay. And I mean, unless I dropped it going over here, but once I go out, it stows it inside the building. Do you, so you, are you going to go back in? They've already gone to the office. Unless they, I, they, I mean, I walked into the office trying to get it close, but they didn't want me walking all through their offices. I mean. Well, ask them to have someone follow with you. They were there. They were looking walking around so are we driving away or what yeah i mean at this point i either have to go say it's in here somewhere help me find it or call them lost okay